YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at our investments in Team of the Week, Fodder, Road to the Finals. We're also going to be looking at how these Road to the Final cards are upgrading and how that can benefit our investments. And we'll be taking a peek at expected content and some future star leaks. But before we get into all that, we're gonna talk about content today on Wednesday. If you wanna have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Wednesday was decent. If you guys followed the investments we were talking about, you probably made a ton of coins. This was really for like lower budget people. If you were on a high budget and you did this, wow. I mean, you don't expect rises like this. This was crazy. But to sum it up, we've talked about this, I think every video since we figured this out, which was since the Real Madrid one. So the Magic Four, this one right here, Real Madrid versus Man City. It's just the Man City run in the Champions League. The final, Inter Milan versus Man City. And then the winners is Manchester City. So we bought Real Madrid players. Uh, we didn't get a Real Madrid requirement, so they didn't rise. But guess what? They were 350 coins, so it was zero risk. We bought Inter players. They were 350 coins, zero risk. They got required. They went up to like 800, 900, maybe even 1,000 coins. I wasn't on at content drop exactly, so I didn't see how much they went up to in the hype but good we more than doubled our coins on those inter players and then the winners came out today and this was manchester city guess what guys manchester city players they were 350 coins they were min price min price this was such an easy investment and this sbc when we saw it, it was like okay wow um we're actually going to see cards rise because of this because the chemistry is high the rating is high and clubs max four makes it kind of tough so man city players did very good today let's see if they're still expensive they might still be we'll go gold man city they were over four thousand coins at content drop and right now they are still over three thousand coins that's crazy if you have man city players in your club i would definitely check your club you know they are up in price take that profit but it wasn't only manchester city players that were rising uh, a lot of Premier League cards. GG if you did this investment though. Low budget guys. I mean, we were expecting maybe up to like 750, 800 coins. But like, if you put, I mean, I don't even know what the math would be. If you bought 100 Man City players for 350 coins and you sold them all for 4,000 coins at content drop. Let's do the math there. 4,000 times 0.95 minus the 350 that you paid times the 100. That's 345 thousand coin profit you would have made is that correct or just how many cards how many coins you'd be left out over i think that's just how many cards you'd be left with how many coins you'd be left with if you bought a hundred so a hundred three hundred and forty five thousand coins when you spent 350 times 100 you spent 35k that's that's over holy crap you turn 35k into 345,000 coins if you followed that investment low budget guys there you go um wow Really good if you did that. But back to what I was saying, it wasn't just Man City players that were rising. We, I forget, someone called it out at first. I, I didn't even think about it, but he called it out and then we looked around and it's basically because it's max four clubs, people were just choosing certain clubs in certain positions in certain clubs, maybe didn't have that many options. So something like Manchester United or on Footbin, there's, there's SBC solutions. So if say manchester united players are in the cheapest solution on footbin the manchester united players were going up in price but uh these cards are back down in price hoyland and martial were over seven thousand coins i think harry Maguire at one point was ten thousand coins i was looking at zinchenko earlier for arsenal arsenal left back zinchenko was over 3k takahiro tomiyasu and i think ben white at right back were around 2k so these cards rose a good amount and if you had any premier league cards i had a guy in my stream that was buying uh premier league cards for marquee matchups tomorrow on thursday and i think that dude made like 400k today really lucky because of this sbc but hey i mean low budget stuff gg if you guys made any coins on this and uh trading with it was good too even after the sbc came out i called it out that they were probably going to rise and then an hour after content drop just bidding on man city players that were getting listed up people were making coins doing that so that was a dope sbc also content drop today the 84 plus times 11 refreshed the icon player pick refreshed so we saw fodder rise 
uh, team of the weeks up like a tiny bit, nothing super crazy, but they're still holding. Are they still holding their value? Let's check them out. I sold my team of the weeks. I told you guys selling your team of the weeks today, selling your fodder today. If you wanted to hold your team of the weeks, maybe till tomorrow on Thursday, because the 83 times 10 will refresh again. You could maybe do that. But I sold mine. I got rid of my team of the weeks for 24,750 coins minimum. I got some for like 25.5, 26.5. But uh, I'm out of my team of the weeks and I think I'm going to buy them back like Friday or Saturday. We'll talk about that again in a little bit. But uh, those are the SBCs refreshing. It helped our fodder rise. And uh, the other thing I want to take a peek at is team of the week. Team of the week is very interesting. Very, very interesting. And the reason why team of the week is so interesting is because it gave us information on how upgrades are going to be going forward so if we look at team of the week guess what gundawan is an 86 overall card his team of the week has upgraded to an 88 if we go on to footbin you can just see here gundawan delict i think same thing with delict delict 86 overall went to an 88 so okay Inform upgrades now. 86s are upgrading to 88s. That's very interesting. So if we go to Road to the Finals, guess what? Road to the Finals are not plus ones. It's an inform upgrade. So that means all of these 86 overall Road to the Final cards, if they get an upgrade, it's an inform upgrade. So they will be going from an 86 to an 88 overall card. This card, dang, this card could actually be really solid with another plus two in every stat he's he'll pretty much be holy gank but um just keep an eye on this I, I really like these cards i think maybe people have caught on but i i wouldn't even be surprised once like the upgrades actually come out if people were like holy crap plus two these cards are 88 overall uh they're pretty solid so i liked road to the finals as soon as i saw the team of the week i went out and i bought a few more i'll tell you the prices by the way, I told you guys, Tony Cruz, 2.4 mil. The dude is now 2.8 mil almost. So if you did that one, high budget guys, there you go. We talked about Pedri, lower 700,000s. He's been fluctuating quite a bit, but usually around like 750 now, 750 like minimum if we check him out. He's, he's on a, a downward trend. If that, oh, 735, I thought it was 715. Uh, but Pedri's doing good. Looking at the rest of the team, what else did we call out? We called out Sule for like 260. He's up at 300k, so that's done good. Donnarumma, we bought for 75 originally, and then 80k, I would still pay 80,000 coins, but that's that's going to be a tough one to get. Uh, I didn't look at too many of these cards, to be honest. We looked down here. We talked about Gavardial, 900k, 950k. The dude's been chilling at about 1.1 mil now, so that's doing good. Now, 86s. What did I buy these 86s for? We said Zambo, I think 180, 86s. I got Tela for 56K, I believe. I bought a Tela for 56K. I still think that's fine. Tela with a plus two, 95 pace, 84 shooting, 84 passing, 88 dribbling. I think it could be a decent card. He's got a good play style plus uh, 56K. Uh, the thing is with these cards is they're guaranteed their upgrade. The reason why they're guaranteed their upgrade is because they've already qualified for the round of 16. And if you look at Road to the Finals, it says to get their upgrade. Boom, road to the final. We go all the way down. It says, where are we at? Emerson, we can just look at this. Qualify for round of 16, but they've already qualified. The round of 32 is going on right now. They've already qualified for it. So it's a guaranteed 88 overall card for Tella. It's a guaranteed 88 overall card for Emerson. And I think it's a guaranteed overall 88 overall for Gonzalez as well. I'm not sure about Leon Bailey or Guendouzi. Um... Almeida, I don't know what her situation is. I don't know much about the women's champions league, but what did I buy today? I got Tela for 56k. I got Emerson's for 39k. We originally bought them for 32k. I bought again at 35, and then I bought again for 39 today. And then I was buying even more at 40,000 coins, and he's up at 42k. I think this Emerson with a plus two, I, if they if he gets the plus two and EA boost his pace a little bit more to 90 pace. That will be a massive game changer on this card, and he will go up a lot. I mean, his stats are really solid. You look at his in-game stats, medium-high work rates. He's, he's defensive, solid. Uh, pace is there. Defending stats are there. Everything on this card is, is decent. He's got whip pass. That's what a lot of people like, especially now with the way 
the meta has seemed to go after watching the pro tournament get a really tall striker with aerial play style plus and then cross it and that's it it's it's kind of broken but uh other play styles jockey intercept rapid quick step relentless he's got really good play styles that are going to help this card be really solid so with another plus two i really think he's going to be decent also if you look at the leaks that we'll look at towards the end of this video future stars we got a lot of Premier League players coming out, and I don't think... Uh, take a peek. Is there a left back? I don't know if there's a left back. Uh, do, 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 do. do we have a left back? I don't think so. I don't think a left back has been leaked yet. And if there is no left back, and there's all these Premier League cards coming out, Garnacho, Palmer, Elliott, Lauren James. I know it's the woman Premier League, but still same thing. Uh, Doku, Pedro Neto. It's quite a few Premier League players, so it could help Emerson go up a little bit more. I like that Emerson a lot. Uh, the Gonzalez, I was buying for 24, 24,000 coins. He was 23K, but then as soon as the Team of the Week came out, this guy went up quite a bit. He, you can see he's up even more now. Holy crap. Uh, we were buying this guy on stream like easily for 24, 24, 5. Um, the thing with this Gonzalez is he's a good card. He's a good card. He's, in, he's guaranteed 88 overall card as well. Finesse play style plus four star, four star. Look at his stats. Imagine adding plus two to every stat 94 pace, 84 shooting, 82 dribbling, 9, 82 uh, passing, 90 dribbling. But he's an eight, he's going to be an 88 overall card. Now, obviously, fodder is very high right now. Fodder is very high at the moment. I do understand that. So these prices are inflated. But if we're going off of what these prices are currently, if he's an 88 overall card and he's 25K, 88s are currently 31, 32K. So it's the, the upgrade is, is a ways away. It's like the end of the month they get upgraded. So obviously in like two, three weeks, these 88s could be completely different. They could be cheaper, but it's just fairly low risk picking up this Gonzalez. He's basically going to be the fodder, the price of 88 overall fodder, but he's also like a pretty decent card. Finesse Playstyle Plus, 92, like, it, it, it's a decent card. So I bought him for around 24k. Almeida, this is another one that's with one upgrade. PSG, I think, are a fairly decent team with one upgrade. Uh, she goes to an 88 overall. It would be a decent card. Uh, it was really cheap. I think I got for, like, 17, 18, somewhere around there. So we bought that. Guinduzzi is a weird one. They're playing Bayern, so it's really tough. But if he does manage to draw or beat Bayern in the first game, that's an upgrade to an 88 overall, and it'll probably go up a lot. Now, this one, I really like this card, but the only thing that throws me off is, look at the leaks. He's a winger in the Premier League. What are the leaks? Uh, Garnacho, winger, can be right wing as well, I believe. Likely, I think, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Does he play left wing or right wing? I'm not sure. But another winger, Premier League winger. Uh... Lauren James, winger, Doku, winger, Pedro Neto, winger. So it's a lot of wingers that are similar position, basically, that could hurt this Leon Bailey. I was looking at him at 210. He's up at 220, but I think it's a little of a riskier one to be buying. Um, and that is Road to the Finals. I didn't even look at this team of the week. This Cunha actually looks kind of cracked, to be honest. That looks wild. Um... It's not a terrible team of the week. It's not terrible, but it's not, holy crap, 93 physical. It's kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. Holy crap, the dribbling on this card. I kind of want to try this card out. I actually want to test this card out. What do we have for play styles? Damn, she's going to be fast as well. Woo, okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, Um, this is team of the week. It doesn't look terrible, but no, like, holy crap, this card's going to be ridiculously expensive. I really want to pack this card kind of players. All right. So that's team of the week. Now, Rose to the Finals, I'll just show you all the ones that I bought. If you guys want to still buy Rose to the Finals, I do still think some of those cards, if you pay a little bit more, I still think they're going to rise. I think they'll be fine. But uh, you don't need to force yourself into this investment. You don't need to be like, oh, I got coins. I got to spend it right now. That's not something you need to do. You guys can wait. You can be patient. Uh, all these cards I do want to say were called out in my VIP Discord. Um, 
I'm going to show you guys real quick. If you guys want to join my VIP trading discord, all you have to do is subscribe to my Twitch channel. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you guys can subscribe for free and join the VIP trading discord for free with Amazon Prime. Just sub on Twitch. That's it. There's also this is the free trading section. Anyone can join this. I said, hey, guys, check your club for city players. Also, other Premier League players are rising like Man United Strikers are over 7000 coins. Free trading discord. You get some advice. Yeah, simple. Now, investments. We called out these players. They're up in price right here. I talked about how they are going to be getting their double upgrade. Team of the Week basically confirmed that. If we go back, 87 Team of the Weeks didn't do that good. Team of the Week target price, this was on Monday, I believe. I think it was on Monday. We were buying Team of the Weeks for uh, below 21K extremely easily. You guys saw that in the YouTube video as well, though. Uh, this was right here. We talked about no Real Madrid requirement, but tomorrow is Inter, so we will see if they do get required the 82s did good blah 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 this is the man city tip right here i said hey the road to the final puzzle challenge is simple go buy man city players go buy real madrid players go buy inter players simple as that and uh you made bank also rodman tipped at 3500 this is all vip discord there's a risky flip section as well where i do a bit more of uh riskier moves rodman is because she was leaked to be in future stars but she barely moved in price she's now 5k so awesome investments great vip discord a little bit of self promo had to do it i'm sorry i'm sorry um here's other cards but like i was saying you don't need to force yourself to buy these i'm lazy listing these cards i could have gone all in i was thinking about going all in just for a tiktok to be honest because like being like yo tiktok i just invested all my coins in this card um I'm, i'll let you know how many coins i make how many coins i sell if i invest like five mil tiktok I always think that's really interesting and it gets views but I just don't think it's that um i mean it's good but here's the thing if you guys don't feel fully confident you feel like you missed the boat maybe you don't want to overpay like some of the prices that we were paying earlier guys just wait friday saturday sunday you can buy fodder i am ready to full send fodder again friday saturday and sunday let me get rid of these last uh couple team of the weeks i'm not gonna full send like 84s uh, obviously 84 full sending will probably be really profitable it's going to be interesting to see how much they come down but i am not going to put millions of coins into 84s team of the weeks guys I, I tell you guys every single weekend every single weekend i tip team of the weeks it's the easiest thing to do you just buy team of the weeks in almost every single week they rise there's probably i'd say out of 10 week how do i do this I'd say one out of every six weeks, seven weeks is bad. So almost every single week, team of the weeks are going to rise. Six out of seven weeks. Let's say that. I don't know why that's the number that I'm choosing. Eight out of 10. Let's say that. Eight out of 10 weeks. Does that work? Seven out of 10 weeks. Something like that. Uh, almost every single, I'd say eight out of 10 weeks. Almost every single week, team of the weeks rise. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll look to buy team of the week cards probably full send it maybe i'm hoping they drop basically the thing is the 84 times 11 is gone tomorrow the 83 times 11 refreshes for its last time tomorrow on uh thursday so then friday team of the week requirement wise we're not really going to have anything if nothing comes out on friday but it's the future star promo usually nothing crazy comes out on fridays it's the future star promo so uh one of our usual days in the past for 83 plus times tens to get released is on saturday so i'm gonna hope that friday there's no 83 plus times 10 this is the investment plan for team of the weeks this weekend if you're not buying any of those roads to the final same thing kind of goes for fodder 84s you're probably going to buy on like saturday when's this 85 plus player pick on 84s you're probably going to buy on saturday yeah we'll say that 84 is likely being bought on saturday i'll let you guys know more so on friday what the move is with 84s if they get low enough but uh team of the week so the game plan is how it would go and where the prices would be so uh if you want to be early you buy on friday and if you buy on friday you're hoping on saturday the 83 plus times 10 comes out and that would be great that would make your team of the weeks rise now if you gamble and wait if no 83 plus times 10 comes out on saturday team of the weeks will get lower and then you could buy on saturday but sunday is the last day where it's like okay um icon SBC, hero SBC. is it good does it have a team of the week requirement if there's no team of the week requirement in the SBC on sunday then the best day is to buy on sunday and then usually from there they don't drop a crazy amount more but 
those somewhere in that window. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is your buy time. And it's up to you to choose where you want to buy in. I'll let you know personally, I'm probably just going to full send it on Friday because I would guess with the uh, Future Stars promo coming out that the 83 plus times 10 um, comes out on Saturday. That would be my guess. Also, uh, they might, Team of the Weeks might get low on Friday. Team of the Weeks might get low on Friday, obviously because there's not many Team of the Week requirements, but I do want to mention there is an 85 plus times 10 in the pack code. Uh, and it seems like it might be tradable because it doesn't mention that it's untradable. So if that pack comes out as like a lightning round during future stars, it's probably going to sell because we saw the 84 plus times 10 packs, I think it was in the store. Everyone loved those packs. They sold out. We saw the 85 plus times seven pack during team of the year. They barely released that pack. They released the 85 plus times seven for attacker team of the year, midfielder team of the year, and it never came out again. That made no sense. But every time it came out, I believe it sold out. And um, if we get the 85 plus times 10 during the future star promo, and if it's tradable, that lightning run might sell out. And I do want to mention all team of the weeks are 85 or higher. So that could help supply on team of the weeks. Also bring 85 overall fodder down. That could be a great buying opportunity for us. So I'll, I'll get more into that. I don't want to ramble on too much, but that could be a, a crazy investment opportunity, a trading opportunity if we do get in a tradable 85 plus times 10. But maybe we'll talk about that more tomorrow or on Friday when we find out if it actually releases. But that is in the pack code, 85 plus times 10. Don't I don't think it's going to be an SBC. There's no way we go from... 83 plus times 10, 84 plus times 11 for one week, and then boom, 85 times 10. It's way too early for that. That's probably a store pack. Uh, where are we at? I just rambled on about team of the weeks and when we're buying them. I'll let you guys know when I buy them, but it is likely going to be on Friday. And currently they're going for about 24,000 coins. Um, 84s, you don't really want to hold your 84s going into tomorrow. Thursday is rival rewards. Rival Rewards tends to bring the lower end fodder down in price. Um, I think the 85 player pick does still refresh again tomorrow. So maybe they don't get hit super hard, but I'm not. I wouldn't fully be risking it. Excuse me. I just ate dinner and I had a ginger ale. Whenever I drink ginger ale, I burp like crazy. Let me just double check. 85 plus player pick is refreshing again tomorrow. I think it refreshes on might refresh on Friday as well. Who knows? This 85 player pick could be coming out on Saturday instead of the 83 times 10. But then if that's the case, maybe the 83 times 10 comes out again on Monday. Maybe. We'll see. Um, all right. Where are we at? So we talked about lower fodder. You probably want to sell your 84s. You can list them up. You just saw their price. They're like 2-1. 2K, 2-1. Maybe list for like 2 2 2 3. I sold almost all of mine for that price uh 85s are really expensive you might want to look to be taking profit on these especially with that 85 plus times 10 in the pack code that's a little sketchy i do want to mention something about 86s 86 overall cards if you can um they are obviously 17 18k but there's a couple cards where if you can snipe them their price range is still not updated and if you do want to pick some of them up Musiala is 13k Trent I believe is 12k if you can snipe these cards and just hold and wait for EA to update the price range you'll probably make good coins but when you're doing it you're gonna have to keep an eye on um 86s because if these 86s start to come down and then you have to worry about selling the Trent and the Musiala because if they're no longer extinct and these cards come down that's not good but if they do update their price range they probably go all the way up to 17 or 18k and you make good coins there so just wanted to share that with you guys uh if you're good at sniping uh where are we at so went over team of the week we went over fodder we went over road to the final cards when are we selling road to the final cards before their games uh for the 86 overall card ones like donnarumma i'm gonna sell before he plays the sule i'd probably sell before he plays but these 86s i'm gonna wait for them to upgrade to an 88 because i think the hype will build up when people see that and they could rise a good amount so i'm waiting on the 86s until they upgrade but it's gonna take like two maybe even three weeks so it's it's a little ways away um and then these cards i'm actually gonna be selling i'm getting rid of this harry kane I'm getting rid of Bright. I'm getting rid of Chavi. I don't want to hold these cards into few. I don't want to hold Chavi into future. I don't want to hold any of these cards into future start because I kind of want to just full send team of the weeks and just do that every single week and just see how many coins I can make full sending team of the weeks every single week. 
Simple as that. I'll sell my Allison as well. My Allison, I'm just testing him out. Um, I wanted to see how good Allison was compared to Czech. And at the moment, I can't really tell the difference. Uh, every goalkeeper misses the easiest shots. It's just the weird animations. It's as simple as that. It sucks. But uh, that's that. Hopefully, we can make a ton of coins this weekend. This was a great investment week. Team of the Weeks did good. I told you guys to buy Team of the Weeks for 17, 18K. We bought 84s for 1100, 1200, 1500. We made a ton of coins this week. Road to the finals are doing good. The low budget Man City players are doing amazing. If you watch any of these videos, you guys are making bank. Sorry for this video being so long. Uh, just kind of a lot of stuff to go over. Now, Future Stars, here's the full team that's been leaked so far. Bada bing, bada boom. The icons are crazy. Dino, Maldini, Rooney, Gerard, Rykard. It's looking pretty solid. Uh, the 84 plus times 10 is the 85 plus times 10 was leaked to be in the pack code from foot scoreboard. And tomorrow's Thursday, guys. Tomorrow is marquee matchups day. Friday is going to be the future stars promo. Um, I don't know how many of you guys noticed this. I didn't notice it. So I just wanted to share it. Division two. If you guys make it to division two, I don't think division three has it. Let's look division three you don't get it but someone told me this i'm gonna try to get to division two tonight just because of this but in the rewards division two if you take untradeable there's an 84 plus times 10 so i'm gonna try to get to division two get the 84 plus times 10 and uh yeah i just kind of wanted to share that with you guys but that's it for this video any questions comment section down below my trading discord my twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace